right. I'm gonna do some intraday trend lines. For the sake of the video, I have deleted every single line I have drawn from Meta. This is Meta on the two minute, but this really works for any ticker. And it's technical analysis, so it doesn't work 100% of the time. But you guys, this is what I'm looking at. So I'm on a two minute, and you see the first two, two candles are green. So you're in an uptrend. That, that's a time period I don't like trading personally. And I feel like I'm chasing. <clears throat> and I feel like I've missed that move. So then the third candle, you see it wicks up to 304.11. And then it comes back down, the red candle, all the way on the right of the screen. And you found some buyers right there, kind of near where that second candle closed. Alright? So, first thing we're going to do is pop a line at the bottom of those buyers. And then we're going to continue to see where the move is going. So it's trying to move higher. It's trying to move higher, higher, higher. So from here, you can take your trend, a trend line, and you can start to draw it up. And we'll just place it there. Because you, it's pretty much touching, you know, several candles, three or four candles. Now, we scroll a little bit more. If we take this trend line and just make it a little wider, you can see, and yeah, you would have missed, but you can also take the trend line on the top. Hold on, bear with me. You can make a trend line on the top and the bottom. So that's your upward, upwards rising channel. Now you can see clearly what happens, you know, once you re it reached the top of the top of it, then it got rejected, and then it started coming down. And then once you broke that <coughs> that upwards trend you see more red okay so that broke there you lost support right about there that line might come in handy and then we'll keep going Alright, so on a two minute it dropped to the 20 EMA. And you just keep scrolling. Now to me, everything from, well, we went a little too far. But right here you can tell that this isn't really crossing or closing above that price level okay and it hasn't really dropped below this price level so now we'll scroll a little bit more all right now so you dropped here below the line we just drew dropped right there below it retested the very next candle and then it made a downwards move so, we'll take um, another trend, another trend line. Let's take it from here for shits and giggles to see what we get. Okay. And then we'll take one from kind of like where it retested.
and we'll draw and extend. So it kind of made a move out, but then got rejected. Now you can see, look what happens right here, boom. Once it broke clear out of the trend, you have a move to the upside, all right? So right here, this candle, this green candle, you had clear confirmation, a little bit of increased volume for buyers, and then that's your move up. So then you can take this trend and make a move. You want at least like three candles, all right? That's the real way to do it. Then you can also take the same candle, the top of it, and you make your upwards trend. But now you see it failed again to the downside. Now in here, From there, let me make a, a rectangle, it'll probably work better. From here, so there. basically all chop okay so you really don't want to take a trade in there because it's still picking a direction now what you're looking for inside this rectangle is it for you're looking for a move to the upside or the downside now I'm, still, I'm not trying to go that far but <clears throat> you see you have a move to the downside it's not a huge move but you can take where it broke all the way down to and you can see a reversal on you, know, you have this and if you follow this white line across all the way down here look this is where buyers found a home so you have a daily support right here and it just so happens that boom at 12.04, you're finding the same support that you had at 11.02. Now, you're taking a reversal, which means you got an uptrend going. So, take the bottom. Now, this is all kind of trial and error, but you'll get your trend lines going eventually. But we'll take it from here. And we'll try and get some type of trend going up. Okay? Now, following the same trend. Now, I couldn't really see where I was going with that because my thumb's in the way. But you can see that once your trend fit, if, you know, you have your upwards trend. It failed again. And what happened when it failed? It got to the bottom of it. It fell below, retested with the same two minute candle. The next two minute candle, we're out of it. And then look, it's just another, <clears throat> another indication that we're moving down. So take the top of this red candle. We'll draw. Oh. Another trend. You, you just follow the candles down. Okay. And you do the same thing for the bottom and the top. This way you're looking for which direction you're moving. So that's about it. Now, 
you found support again, and you didn't see it again, that 1202, you're finding more support, at that, it's an intraday support, boom, you found it right here, you found it right here, you went back up, but then you had a double top, so it kind of bounced off your support, well, not kind of, bounced off support, came up, so you might look to get into a call here, but it's not, as far as what the volume says, sure, it looks like you might want to enter a call. And this is where you can get caught up and fucked up. We're also midday, and midday the volume and the price action isn't that wild. So, what ends up happening is we fall again. Now let's draw a line here. Let's see if that played any role for today. Okay, that was kind of towards the bottom of the day, kind of like the beginning of the day where we drew that trim line. So that's damn close. It even went 29, 2989. Alright, so you dropped 20 cents below where the stock basically open. So that line has an importance from the beginning of the day. And now, <clears throat> inside here, it's kind of just chop to me. That's all chop. And then what you're looking for is to break out of the chop. So you broke out of it. For four candles. This candle here, you see massive, well, not massive selling pressure. You see <laughs> sellers came in at that level, right up here. This red candle with the wick. So, what you would basically be looking for in a bullish scenario is for a candle to get above that wick price, which it fails to do here, and then. That, that's giving you a signal that there's really no buyers above that, that line or those wicks. So you got some buyers here, but there wasn't enough pressure, so you continue down. Now, all this shit inside here, you know, this is all chopped to me. So you look in here. I would take the line, I would probably make my line like right here, and you see that, you know, you got, that's where you had your breakout, this green candle, <clears throat> and it wicks below it, but it never closes below, so you found a little bit of support, chopping, 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 does the same shit, comes back up, chop, 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 chop. Trying to go a few more candles, and then boom, fucking out of nowhere. Like, no one fucking sees this coming. You got a massive, well, it wasn't even, it's a massive candle, but it's on very low volume. And it's weird because right before this candle, you have 338,000 of volume in a two minute candle, and the, very next, and the candle before that was 27,000. <laughs> doesn't make much sense to me at least how little that candle is for the volume I guess it's just that many people buying and selling within that amount of time and it didn't really budge but then you had about 89,000 worth of volume to the downside so you see you broke down below <clears throat> that line we already had drawn this is all intraday shit. If you don't want to make your dailies, your hourlies, your weeklies, this is all intraday support. Now, you see that you broke all the way down below this trend, uh, below that support. So you're going to make another line. And you want another trend line. Now, I can't see where we're going. 
but this let's just take a look, see if we have any important. <coughs> This trend line, you can see again, it, you can also make another one here. when you just moves. Now look, you, as soon as we broke this downtrend line, you had a green candle. These aren't major moves to be had, but this is just how you're going to read it intraday. Now you, you found support here, you found support here, support here, buyers came in. We have a slight trend, very small. to the upside. And then you break below your trend. And it goes back down to the downside. And you make even more lows. <coughs> And then that's the end of the day. Um, so you're really, really looking for patterns. Like you you want to see if things hold up. Like one more we could do is here. You see a double top here. Another double top right there. You know, that, that's like a, a daily resistance. You know, so resistance, boom, double top double top usually when you see a double top green to red you're going down or opposite red to green you're going back up and there's a sign of going back up right here these two candles red green double long back up to the double top and obviously you don't know what's going to happen in the future, so I tried my best to, to do this real time. So some of my lines aren't going to be 100% correct. So you can see this line we had drawn. We had a move, you know, right at the end of the wedge to the upside but then this trend continued down three candles later and then it made a move up so I'm going to try and stop rambling hopefully what I said here made sense but what you really want what I like to avoid it's really up to you if you want to trade stuff inside this this is all chop to me what I like more is finding bigger moves, like this is breaking the uptrend, and you found it's breaking down to it, a retest and a failed retest, and then that gives you an even bigger move. And sometimes you'll notice patterns like that, like you have here, you have a Big candle, red down, which is making its way down to the bottom of the trend. And you have here, complete failure. And then it never really breaks back above that level, which would be right about there. Now you had some wicks to it, but it never breaks back above there. So if you were to enter like a put there, 
that would be fantastic. Because it never breaks above it. And then you continue down, looking for confirmation out of this chop, which way it's going. And it only took 42, 16 minutes to get the move. So if you can be patient 16 minutes, you have confirmation that it's coming out. And you can also see these two candles have wicks, which are indicating selling pressure. Selling pressure, selling pressure, some buying pressure, selling pressure, buying pressure, then it hits the selling pressure, selling pressure into a new low, and then even more lows. That's kind of an indication on where this chop is going to go, which it ended up going lower. So I'm going to cut the video there. If you got any questions, that's how I look at intraday supports and resistances and trends and hopefully you can capitalize on some of these setups.